Hey everyone, Matt Lake here, back with another Python tutorial for Unreal 5. Uh, this one is a bit of a request following on from the previous video in which we made an editor utility widget uh, to call a Python node. Um, I've had a request on how to call external Python files and how to update them, um, so I thought I'd do a quick video to demonstrate how. Uh, just before we start, all the code will be in the description if it helps. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's open up our blueprint from last time. So we made a editor utility widget with a simple button and all it was doing was on click calling a, a Python command node. Uh, so I'm just gonna drag this down here um, because we want to see our output log, uh, which is visible from uh, window output log. Uh, we'll just put this over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my editor utility widget just so it's here on the side. So last time it basically just doesn't do anything if you click it, absolutely nothing occurs. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've got a Python file in a folder um, which is located on my uh, D drive tutorial scripts. I've got this tutorial.py file um, which is very simple script uh, for i in range 0 to 10 it's going to print i uh, so it'll just print out a few numbers. We're going to get that calling from this Python uh, node so it's a very simple script, basically there's a few modules we need to import and basically tell it where this file is and then run the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to start just by typing in this Python command box, uh, import sys. So this is a module we need to import to tell the system where these uh, Python files are located. On the following line, we're going to do sys.path.append and uh, open brackets, close brackets. In the brackets, we're going to do some speech marks. Now we need to get the path of the script. So if I just drag over Explorer, you can see we've got D tutorial scripts. So basically you want to copy this and paste that into there. Uh, we're going to swap the backslashes for forward slashes. Alternatively, you could do double slashes, but just to keep it simple, we'll do forward slashes. And then we're going to add an extra forward slash after the scripts. Uh, I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary, I just like doing it. Um, and this will now tell uh, Python where that folder is. So it'll now look through that folder if you ever try to import a file. So we're going to try import that file. The tutorial file was called tutorial.py. So we're just going to do import tutorial. We don't want the .py because it's irrelevant that it's a Python file. Um, and that's it. Hit compile. We're going to close the editor utility widget and reopen it. Let me just save that file. Let's clear the output log. Okay, so let's run the file. And we've got it here. And if we hit click, and you'll see it'll print the numbers. But if we click this again, nothing happens. So basically what's happened is Python's imported the module and it's imported. It doesn't want to import it again because why would it? it it's done. Uh, so basically what we have to do is reload the module. We have to reload the content in the file. Um, in Python 2, this used to be very straightforward to do. Uh, you could basically just on the next line do uh, reload tutorial. Uh, but in Python 3, they have changed this. Uh, so now we have to import an additional uh, uh, module uh, to to basically reload. So what we can do is if I just delete that line, uh, we're going to import a module called import lib, L-I-B-E, and then on the following line we're going to do import lib dot reload tutorial, and hit enter, compile, close down the editor utility to be safe, reload it, and if we click it, runs. Click it again, runs again. So now we're free to open up our Python script and make any modifications we want. So we could do the next file. Um, every time it runs, it'll say hi. Uh, so if we just reload that to reload the editor, now it's saying hi every time. Um, so yeah, that's how you get it running from a Python uh, Python node. Very straightforward, very powerful with the editor utilities. I really love using them. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on uh, Twitter, MattLakeTA, or uh, comment down below. I'll reply to all the comments. And if you've got any requests or any tutorials that you want doing, let me know, and I'll try to get on for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.